His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa patronized the inauguration of the Gulf Industry Fair 2016 in its ninth edition. The three-day fair is organized by Hilal conferences and exhibitions at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center in which 79 regional and international exhibitors from 16 countries are taking part. His Royal Highness highlighted the quality of Bahraini products, which makes it a favorite in the market for meeting the demands of consumers. He said Bahrain relies on the industrial sector to diversify sources of income due to the potential of this sector to strengthen the national economy. He stressed the government's keen interest to encourage Bahraini companies to expand their activities through a series of facilities and incentives in parallel with supporting Gulf and foreign investment in line with a free and open market policy. The Prime Minister affirmed that Bahrain has a pioneering position on the map of regional exhibitions and conferences and is attractive to investors. He said that specialized industrial exhibitions, including this fair, are an opportunity to exchange experiences and sign deals between businessmen and investors so as to expand exports and agree on joint projects which contribute to the development of the national economy. His Royal Highness toured the fair and looked at the industrial technologies in the fields of aluminium, energy, environment protection, iron and steel alloys, industrial operations and manufacturing, ports, industrial facilities, logistics and training, in addition to industrial security and safety. He expressed admiration at the success of the event in attracting regional and international companies specialized in advanced industrial technologies, which confirms Bahrain's status as a pioneering destination for the industry of exhibitions and conferences. He called on industrial investors to focus on developing existing industries based on modern technologies, which can contribute to the GDP. He commended the wide participation in the fair, which confirms the trust and confidence in the event that is reputed for excellent organization and capability to attract investors. The Prime Minister reiterated the importance of reinforcing cooperation among GCC states in the field of industry and benefit from human and material resources to provide their needs of different goods. He stressed that despite global economic challenges, developmental process is ongoing to strengthen the national economy through support to every sector that provides more job opportunities. For his part, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, thanked the Prime Minister for opening the fair which puts Bahrain on the agenda of international exhibitions. He stressed the patronage of the Prime Minister reflects the leadership and the government's care to attract modern technologies and international investments through specialized functions so as to contribute to the national economic development. The minister pointed out the constant support to the industrial sector, which translates the leadership and government's aspirations to continue Bahrain's approach to focus on the field of industry as a heavy contributor to the development of the GDP as part of the 2030 economic vision.
The ninth golf industry fair has attracted 79 exhibitors representing 16 countries, some for the first time, but the emphasis remains on the scope and scale of Bahrain's industrial sector. We're very glad to have this exhibition again. Uh, it's a showcase to show Bahraini industry. Uh, we've also had participation from companies who are not based in Bahrain but like to sell their products locally. Uh, I think one of the biggest incentives we get in this in uh, exhibition is the patronage of His Royal Highness the, uh, the Prime Minister who's graced us today with his attendance as he did in previous years. Uh, this year's exhibition has grown by 10% in area. The number of exhibitors have grown from 62 to 79 and we have about 60% Bahraini companies out of that number. So we're glad to see this uh, exhibition not only being sustainable but also growing year after year. Uh, this uh, year's show, Gulf Industry Fair, consists of so many different industrial components such as aluminium, manufacturing, logistics, warehousing and industrial facilities which makes it one of the most comprehensive shows uh, in the region. Uh, the number of exhibitors have increased by 20% uh, as well as the size by 10%, so we are very much optimistic about the industrial outlook for the kingdom as a whole. Despite obvious macro and micro level challenges facing all industries, such as the global oil price falls and scheduled price increases for industrial gas, sentiment remains strong. In fact, many are pointing out the opportunities in cheaper crude oil prices and are confident that now is the time to consolidate with confidence of long term growth based on strong fundamentals. Therefore, support for the Gulf Industry Fair remains strong. It's a very important fair for Bahrain as well as the region. It's a very big platform for us. All of our customers are here, suppliers are here. Alba is a huge piece of the Bahrain economy, roughly 10% of the downstream. So us being at the Gulf Industry Fair, I think one, we have to send a strong message we're supporting. And then in terms of Alba, it's a very big platform for us, not just for Bahrain, but also for the region as well as international markets. We come again and again, of course, because His Highness, uh, Prince Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman, he gave a special um, attention to the industry in Bahrain and we are very proud of this and we feel that by his presence it encourages us to exhibit more and to uh, improve our products. It's a great event. I mean we've taken part in the Gulf Industry Fair now. This is the fifth year and it's always proven to be a very good networking event. Um, we, we get to know companies that are our peers who are in the same field. We get to know vendors and most importantly, we get new tenants for our facilities. So it's, it's, it's paid off for us over the past five years. We've made a, a number of very good relationships. The Gulf Industry Fair continues at the Bahrain International Exhibition Center until Thursday. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle DeForto. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Ahmed El Mullah, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today in which he issued a statement regarding the European Parliament's interference in the Kingdom's domestic affairs and provisions of the Judicial Authority. The Council affirmed the Kingdom's reform march and decided to send a statement to the European Parliament in this regard. The Council also reviewed the report of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security regarding the Penal Code and decided to refer it to the Shura Council for further studies. The representative of His Majesty the King, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Bahrain Olympic Committee President Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa deputized Southern Governor Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa to deliver the weekly award of the best camp. The Southern Governor loaded the goals of launching the award, pointing out the huge support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in preserving the environment and the wildlife. The committee awarded first week's award to Ali Fardan from Um Jadar camping area. The governor also loaded the contribution of Tatwia Petroleum Company in the award by allocating a weekly cash prize to the best camp site. PR official of Tatwia Petroleum, Ahmed Zainal, delivered another cash prize to the winner, Badr Khalfan, from Al Amr camping area. The southern government then announced a registration for the award and highlighted that the award is aiming to raise awareness among campers on safety, community partnership and encourage them to follow the preset instructions of the Camping Supreme Committee.
A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bob Co-Chairman Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa affirmed that the reduction in oil prices created many opportunities for various sectors and more economic projects. He affirmed that Bahrain will continue to develop in the oil sector and continue the pipeline project linking Bahrain to Saudi Arabia in addition to establishing a new gas industry in association with Banagas. So as prices go down, your margins actually go up. So we benefited last year. Uh, projects have been in, in the design stage for some years now. It takes a long time to design a, a refinery expansion. It is one of the more complex uh, industrial projects to do. And at the, we have now uh, reached the end of the front-end engineering design. So we're almost ready to start talking to contractors. The environment is actually favorable for us. Uh, I think we came here uh, through sheer luck, but if, if anybody were to invest, this is the time to invest. As you know, the only thing to learn for investment is buy low and sell high. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,169.02 points, a decrease of 6.68 below last closing. The fall was in the investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 36% of total shares. 33 transactions included a volume of 1,061,121 shares worth 149,516 Bahraini dinars.